And so when you're talking about it in the sense of people who are in a dire need of a choice, then I am absolutely for it. Absolutely pro physician assisted suicide. But when you are talking about what they're doing in Canada now, welcome to Muzzle Tough. Thank you so much for getting us to 175 subscribers. You are the change we wish to see in the world. We're just two guys. We don't know what we're talking about today. We're talking about. All right. What's your favorite kind of dog? Spin man? the wheel. My favorite kind of dog? It's yeah, a dachshund. That's right. Today we're talking about what do we got? Oh. Assisted suicide. Um, yeah, I thought so. Okay. All right, Ben. We got 10 minutes. Let's talk about it. That's the uh, <clears throat> assisted suicide is the friendliest kind of suicide. Um. Well, it depends who's Sad. assisting you and if you want them to. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. A, a believe, stranger assisted me. I believe the producers are talking about specifically, because again, we're not up to the wheel. The wheel isn't up to us. That's up to the producers. I feel like they're talking about specifically PAS or physician assisted suicide. Mm. Basically, it, it's really popular in Canada right now. And uh, it was basically, you know, if you are sad and depressed and you want to die, you can go to a doctor in Canada and they'll do that for you. Is it, is it like, Oh, you think I'm being, yeah, 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 guys, let's talk about sad. this. In 1997, the state of Illinois made physician assisted suicide illegal for everybody. And that put a lot of people in a tough spot. A lot of cancer patients, terminal patients, ill people who were really, really miserable and kind of had a, you know, kind of had a justification to go. And, you know, physician assisted suicide did help with putting the power of choice back into these people's hands. You know, a study was done in the state of Oregon where they studied where the way they do it is they give you pills to take home and you kill yourself at home. 60% of the people who got prescribed physician assisted suicide medication didn't take it because what really was paining them is the fact that they were going to lose themselves to a disease right they had no power in the situation and that is sometimes is the most painful you know what i mean mm -hmm. and so when you take that away from people it puts them in a hard spot but the issue is when you give it back to the people and you give it too much so I was speaking with my father the other day, who is a learned man, and I said, Todd, what do you think about physician-assisted suicide? And when I say the other day, I mean like a year or two ago. But, you know, still. The other day plus some. And my father said a surprising thing. My father, who's a religious man, and as you know, Old Testament suicide is, is tantamount to murder, to sin. And he said, sometimes it's okay. And I was fucking shocked, dude. But you know, honestly, like, well, if the guy was a real jerk, then absolutely. No, but honestly, well it made sense head. because if you think about it, listen, there are some people who go through some horrible, horrible times. And I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about, you know, I'm talking about like outwardly inflicted things, you know, like there were some people who took their lives to evade in, in the Great Depression. People killed themselves because they didn't want to starve to death. They said, hey, if I'm going to go, I'm going to go how I want to go. You know what I mean? In the yeah. Twin Towers, have God, you know, the greatest and biggest uh, calamity that ever happened on U.S. soil. There were jumpers who said, hey, if, I, if I'm going to go, I'm going to go out on my own terms. And so when you're talking about it in the sense of people who are in a dire need of a choice, then I am absolutely for it. Absolutely. Pro-physician-assisted suicide. But when you are talking about what they're doing in Canada now... Where there, where there's a case, I'll put it up on the screen here, of an I elderly. Heard about this. Is that the one? That's the one where they're they're drowning folks in maple syrup. No, is no, that, is no, that, no. Is that the one? No, no this was Never a mind. case. This was a case. An elderly gentleman. <clears throat> his his rent had increased, and he was being evicted. And his Kill life yourself. Was, yes, essentially, <laughs> basically, what happened is his life was in shambles. And I'm not saying that's a good thing, but like. His, his, uh, his recourse for all of the things going on in his life was to go to a doctor and the doctor, here's the, I don't blame the guy for wanting 
to not be alive. I don't blame him. I blame the doctor who was like, yep, you, you apply, you, you pat, you, I'll do it. Lay down right here on my death bed of death and we'll make we it, our... we'll make you go. Hatchet Woo! MD. We're just going to pack a little life out of you. I, look, Mayor, I'll say like this. So I, this is why I'm voting for squid games. So, okay. Wow. Wow. No, 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 Ben. Let me ask you. Like I this. want squid games. Uh, but then there's a couple of different types of physician assisted suicide. You know, that's the other thing. By fist, by stomp. What are there's a, there's a few more. There's a well. There's there's like a lethal injection, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. That's very expensive. It's so expensive that prisoners who are on death row have to wait years for it. It's so expensive. Yeah. And yeah. then the other thing, and uh, they're waiting there only for that reason, not for other legalities. Um, <laughs> they're like just all shoving each other. Like, no, I was then, first. But then, okay. But then there's another one. There's a uh, an Icelandic company i believe created a death pod which is a, a 3d printed clear-faced coffin that fills with a, a... Is drop it in the ocean <laughs> no 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 no. i'll put a picture of that on the screen as well but it's basically well, it it fills with gas and it, it puts you, you to sleep do you know have you heard about the roller coaster I'm oh, assuming okay, okay. this is another great way of doing it. This All this right. one is, is one of the most famous. Uh, so you'll put it on the screen. It's called the Suicide Roller Coaster or something okay. like that. This guy okay. designed, he designed this roller coaster that basically looks like it's one big loop followed by a bunch of tiny loops. So by the time you end the roller coaster, you're just like, yeah, the totally centrifugal torn force. Apart. You just yeah, like exactly. rip your neck off. You enter like 10 G's like immediately. That's <laughs> that's how I, I would like to, um, I would do it like that. Yeah, that'd be the one. I'll tell you, I've never been on a roller coaster, and that's what I imagine every roller coaster is like. Because also like this, You're man, I'm six, I am um at my shortest six feet long. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like you get a whole lot of whiplash on that bitch because you just got the bar. I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking of the old school roller coasters. But anyway, that's what I think about physician-assisted suicide. I think it's okay, except for Canada. What do you think? Let us know down in the comments. This has been Muzzle Tough. Thanks. I'm Ergadaba, and that's Flergadaba. Do I give my opinion or no? <laughs> oh, yeah, you can give your opinion. What do you think? Fuck you. My opinion ah! is no one, no one, no one can kill me but myself. Okay. I am God. I will choose. Um, I don't need no pills. You what segue I do this need... into another intro. Yeah, yeah. What I do need, though, is I, 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 you know how I would do it, Mayor? You know how, how would you would do, do it? it? How would you do it, Ben? I would put all the different uh, Kevorkian options on a wheel and I would spin the wheel and whatever happens to happen, I would choose. And you know what that reminds me of? What does that remind that you reminds of, me of? 